hello, hello. It is Tanya Gibson Smith. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. And if not, you've been a part of this tribe. Welcome back. I am here once again in Dubuque, Iowa. I told you guys um, in the last video, maybe not even the last video, but one of my videos where I was talking about the weather and how cold it is out here. So I just wanted to kind of give you um, an idea on what to bring and how to dress, okay? So these shoes are the shoes that I wear on the range. These are insulated and they have um, memory foam on the inside and they're also waterproof. You want to get you some of these just um, to have while you're outside, in and out the truck. Your feet is not cold. I wear two pair of socks with these. <laughs> now, um, I was telling y'all about those hand warmers. You can't put foot warmers in them or hand warmers in them, and it could help. But I just wear two pair of socks, and I'm fine. Um, this boot is my everyday boot. This is the one that I wear every day reason being is because it's cold like i wear a lot of um what do you call those shoes um vapor max vapor max are mesh there is no insulation in vapor max okay um there's summer shoes and they work well every day of the week when in south carolina okay huh <laughs> but up here in Iowa, baby, if you want your feet, you need to cover them up. So I'm suggesting that you dress accordingly. This sweatshirt that I have on, I've got on a t-shirt up under here. I've also, uh, I also wear leggings up under my jogging pants. And I want to give you, this is what I wear on top of it. So big snowsuit. And this is what I was telling you about that they sell over in Tyson's. This is warm, warm, warm. Okay, it's a little long, so I had to fold it up. But here's the installation. You can see this kind of sits down over the top of my boot. But, guys, when I tell you, if you come into Iowa, you come into the Hirschback training, you want something warm. If you can bring it with you, bring it with you. If you're coming on the plane, you already know it's going to cost um, if you're overweight. So, I don't know. I just, I waited until I got here and um, I purchased it at Tyson's. I purchased my suit at Tyson's. Um, you're going to get the safety vest. It comes on that first day along with that green book i was telling you guys about the safety regulations book so um you know these are the the the, the attire this is the attire <laughs> that you want to um be accustomed to this coat it is a tommy hair figure coat but i promise you the insulation on the inside is phenomenal you're gonna need some insulation now let me tell you the real purpose of this video it, you know, I really, I wanted to give y'all some content, but I need to vent. <laughs> I lost my pre-trip. Oh my gosh. I've got a million notes on my pre-trip, guys. And I don't know where my pre-trip went. So, me and one of my sidekicks, we went over to the range. And we, um, we studied the pre-trip. We washed clothes, we stood at the pre-trip, and um, I thought maybe I would find it, but I didn't. So, I'm, I'm very heartbroken because even though I feel like I may have it, you know, um, I still, I don't mean have the pre-trip, I mean have it mentally, like remember my parts and remember where everything is on the truck. Even though I feel like I may be able to pass it, I still um, I still want my pre-trip in my hand with all of my notes doodled the way that I did it. But I said all of that to say this. Um, it's easy 
to lose something when you're in a foreign place. If you're coming to training at Hirschback, you get that pre-trip, you find yourself, you know, without it in the next couple of days. Be smart. Take pictures of it. And I thank God that is what I did. I took some pictures of it and I didn't even do it for myself. It was crazy. I was on the phone with one of my daughters and I was telling her what I was doing. I was studying my pre-trip at the time that we were talking. And um, I was like, look, let me show you what I'm doing. So I just snapped some pictures. And normally we were on FaceTime. I wouldn't even had to snap pictures, but we were talking on the telephone. I snapped pictures of my pre-trip, about five pages, and I sent it to her. And lo and behold, <laughs> God is good. Because as soon as I remembered, I sent Ty that pre-trip by text. I went right back, got my notebook, and went through my phone and began to write everything down, which does what? Helps with the learning. The more you write, the better you retain, and the more you learn, and the more you're able to remember. So... Yeah, I, I guess everything happens for a reason. I would have loved to have my pre-trip in my hand, but all is well. I was able to take it straight from my cell phone, write it down on my notebook, and now I'm able to study my notebook in my own handwriting and in my own words, but meaning the same exact thing. So, guys, be careful about coming and um, being careless. It's easy to do. Getting in and out of those vans. Right, and I, I I called my two neighbors my sidekick, so I was um hopping in and out of their cars too, and you know, cause they're close enough where they drove here, so I'm wondering like, did I leave it in somebody's car? Did I leave it on the van? Did I leave it in a break room? Did I lose it on the range? Or did I give it to somebody, and then forgot to get it back? Like I don't know what took place, but I panicked because listen. Pre-trip is whew, most of the test. So, yeah, said all of that to say be careful um, with your pre-trip when you come. Put it in a safe place. I was just talking about how they give it to you in the yellow envelope. Well, being outside and you got all these thick gloves on and you got all these thick suits and you got all these big coats and all these layers, it's just kind of hard to keep up with a folder and keep up with your cell phone and you're trying to record because you don't want to miss anything. But um, so what I did was I uh, took my folder, set it to the side. And after I took my folder and set it to the side, I had my pre-trip in my hand. And a lot of the times when we would study with one another or test one another, we would pass our pre-trip paper to the person that we're studying with so that we can't look at it or we can't cheat and say, oh, it's probably mine is secured and not crack damaged and missing and all pieces in place. No, you can't look. <laughs> There's no cheating. So whoever you are testing with or studying with at the time, they have your pre-trip in your hand. And that was the thing I was wondering, like, did I do that? I don't know. But everybody talked about how well my notes were uh, taken on my pre-trip paper. So I'm thinking, did somebody get me or did I just really lose it? I don't know. One or the other. But all is well because I found it in my notes on my phone. And um, I copied it over to my notebook and um, studying it in my own handwriting. Another thing, when you come to Dubuque, um, if you have the opportunity to go to the range and study, do that. Do that. Please do that. Because there are people who are just like you who want it just as bad as you. And if you get together with the people that the mindset is like yours and y'all go to that range and you study together, you're going to learn. 
you're going to learn because there's so many people who have different ways of, of verbalizing things to make you remember what it is. Just like for the longest, I'm going to give you an example. For the longest, my husband drove a truck. And for the longest, I knew that there was a red button and a yellow button, but I did not know which button was for what. And honestly, it says trailer, biggest day on the red button, and tractor, biggest day on the yellow button. But who thinks about that? You know, when you go to think about, like, which one is red and which one is yellow, it's just always hard to remember. And then once I got to training, the question came up a few times, and we talked about it. It's like it's so hard to remember that and everybody kind of felt the same way about it but one of the instructors he made a valid point he said when you are going down a highway or you're going down a mountain and you're going x amount of miles per hour and it's raining the first thing you want to think about is stopping the trailer because your trailer is the one that's pushing you it is the weight behind you that pushes you and that is the part that you really want to stop more than anything. And then Jerry, once again, I talk about him a lot, but Jerry said that he just thinking about the yellow school bus. So if you put the yellow school bus in the front, that's your tractor. And if you put that red big stop on that trailer, you know that we do not want that trailer to go faster than you. Because if it does, it's going to come around, swing around. We don't want that. So, yeah, that, that you know, that's just a small point. You know, get with people like mine who are trying to do the same thing that you're doing, who is here for the same reason you're here for. You're not lollygagging. You're not playing around. You want to get in. You want to study together. You want to work together and, um, you know, learn together. And once you're done doing that, you take that test. Hey, congratulate each other. You might see each other on the road again. Who knows? But I've met some wonderful people here. I have all walks of life. I've met people, um, Honduras, Hades, um, Kenya, um, Jamaica. I said I wasn't going to call names. Um, Italy. I said I wasn't going to call countries or because uh, I don't want to leave nobody out, but um, I met some wonderful people, and, um, you know, they, they call me mama. You know, I'm from down south. I'm South Carolina, so, you know, I'm going to tell you like it is, and then I'm going to hug you and feed you when it's over with, so <laughs> that's, that's South Carolina for you, although I was born in New Jersey, you know, so they tell me I got the New Jersey swag, but um, I've got Southern hospitality. So I think that's a blessing to be able to experience the, and, and, and ha carry the best of both worlds. So just wanted to come on here real quick. Just drop a couple nuggets. Um, be back with another video in a couple days or so. God bless y'all. And thank y'all for following me on this journey. Um, once again, go ahead and ring that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, you know, it, it's, it's all about inspiration. It's all about entrepreneurship and um, lifestyle. So um, I might upload a video about my grandkids one minute, and then I may turn around and upload a video about trucking the next. So who knows? But y'all go ahead and follow this uh, journey with me. And God bless. And... Uh, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.